In this module we're looking at why it is important to maintain a constant internal environment. An organism, any living thing, must maintain a constant internal environment such as body temperature for metabolic processes to occur efficiently. A constant internal environment is important to maintain no matter what changes occur in the external conditions of the environment. So for example, you and I, as we're humans, we actually maintain a constant internal, internal environment of being warm. And not just warmth, but the constant internal environment here, we're also talking about pH levels and sugar levels, um, digestive processes, all of these have a constant internal environment that we need to maintain to ensure that our body is actually working properly and efficiently. Enzymes help this take place. So we've already looked at enzymes and you can refer to our previous enzyme videos if you would like to learn more about enzymes. But enzymes help, metabolic processes rely on these enzymes and enzyme activity depends on factors such as temperature and pH. This is because enzymes require optimum environmental conditions to function correctly. If enzymes are not presented with optimum temp environmental conditions, they will denature. Denature means that they deform and not perform their function, which could be detrimental to the body. So our body is actually at 36.5 degrees and it can fluctuate slightly, but if it's a lot, so if, say for example, if it's 40 degrees, our enzymes start to break down and not work because it's, they're not um, conditioned to work in the warmer environments. It's just the same if, we, if our body temperature were to de decline below 36, that's actually very detrimental to our body as well because the enzymes will slow their processing. Now we have feedback systems in our body and this can help maintain our internal environment. So multicellular organisms regulate their internal environment in order to remain healthy. This picture on the side here shows that the environment might change or might react with us and our receptors detect that. Our receptors are little, um, uh, little things on the outside of our skin and what they actually do is detect any changes. So it can be on our skin, it can be in our blood. These receptors are all throughout our body. It goes, this message, so the stimulus is sent to the receptor, it goes to the 